Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jeff. Happy Friday night. This is my YouTube channel, Spectator Behavior. So as you know, Nashville's been hit by a rough tornado. It's definitely made me even more appreciative of just being alive, not to take anything for granted. It's been amazing to see Nashville come together as one over the past week. Truly amazing city that we live in. I have met so many people though who have drove in to help from all over the country. Um, so the combination of Nashville and people from all over the country helping is truly amazing. So I don't really have too much planned out, uh, for this video. Um, I do realize that, you know, me writing down the date and saying, I'm going to work hard for subscribers. It's a little selfish. And in the grand scheme of everything, it doesn't even matter. And trust me, I really would love you to subscribe um, if you haven't already and to gain subscribers obviously that's what I'm trying to do but I do this because I love it and um, in the grand scheme of things you know it's not that important compared to everything else and um, I'm just fortunate to be able to uh, do videos on here and uh, it's a blessing so you know, I don't really have anything planned for this video, so I'm just going to talk about sporting events that are coming up, um, either tomorrow or even sporting events that have already happened today. Uh, so, start with Vandy, South Carolina, uh, tomorrow. So, South Carolina is a four-point favorite. Um, should be interesting. It's Vanderbilt's last home game, um, and yeah, should be. An interesting game to watch. So UNC Duke is tomorrow as well and this time it's in Cameron. Uh, if you checked out my game atmosphere video before um, last month I went to the game so if you haven't seen that check that out you know there's some fairly good game footage and just lead up and the build up to the game you might enjoy it. Uh, so Duke's an 11 point favorite in this game. It's in Cameron. It's going to be tough for UNC to win this, but it is UNC Duke. So you never know. Um, so my alma mater today, um, uh, they played Winthrop and yesterday they, they beat UNC Asheville, but today they ended up losing to Winthrop in the semifinals of the big South tournament. Uh, Radford was hosting the tournament, and they actually lost to Hampton today, so that was a major upset. So it's going to be Winthrop and Hampton. Winthrop will host, so the top-seeded team host um, for the championship. The top seed host for the regular season. Um, whoever wins the regular season, they host the tournament. So... I like this format a lot better than uh, the way they had it before. It was always in Myrtle Beach. And back when Coastal Carolina was in the Big South, they had a crazy unfair advantage. They would always get to host the tournament. They could be a, a five seed, you know, an eight seed. They're hosting the tournament, so they got home court advantage. It was just ridiculous. So I like this format that the Big South does a lot better than they how they did it before. It was just an unfair advantage for Coastal Carolina. Um, so with that being said, though, um, you know, Big South basketball, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. But, um, yeah, so thank you all for tuning in to this video. And... Um, I really appreciate all of my subscribers and, um, the support for, uh, Nashville. Uh, 